so we are absolutely going to get into a war. America is absolutely going to drag us into a war. That, that's something that is going to happen now because uh, we have Bojo, the cowardice clown, who will do whatever Trump tells him to do. He will do whatever America tells him to do, much like most conservatives. Um, before I get into this, I just want to take everyone back for a moment and remind people how this started. So this came about because Donald Trump is such a pathetic little baby that he destroyed the Iranian nuclear deal because it was something that Obama had set up. That was it. That was the only reason for it. He bullshitted all these reasons and his dumbass fans keep repeating it. The deal was bad for America. It wasn't bad for America. America lost nothing at all. What they had to do was give Iran's money back to Iran because Iran was doing what Iran was told to do. And even at the time, Trump didn't like that because the idea of giving people their money back is not something that this lifelong con artist has ever done. But when he got into a position of power, he destroyed it. Now, Iran, for the most part, kept to the agreement. But where they started to fail was when America, when the Trump administration, started to put sanctions on Iran and also everyone else who was agreeing to the Iranian nuclear deal, which is us, which is Germany, which is all the other powers that were involved in this. America put sanctions on all of us because we were upholding to the deal that was one of the best deals you could possibly imagine. So then we get orders to militarily intervene in these bullshit sanctions that America has stuck on Iran or on countries that are trading with Iran because America destroyed the deal. Mike Pompeo told us to take military action, so we did, because conservatives do whatever America tells them to do. Then we get into a bit of trouble and we call America for help. Mike Pompeo said, jog on, son. So we went back to the EU. Saying, hey, EU, uh, we're in trouble here. Give us a little hand. Fuck. Okay. So that spirals forward. Now, Iran have been going uh, back and forth. Uh, they've shot down a few drones um, from America and they, they've made it perfectly clear. They don't want, or at least... Most of the Iranian government does not want a war, but they will absolutely not get dicked around. This is not Iraq, okay? This is not a small Middle Eastern country. This is a country whose missiles can hit the UK. This is a country with an actual army, a considerable bloodbath, okay? So, back and forth... Iran have made it clear they will not get pushed around. For the most part, they don't want a war. Of course, there are people in that government who do want war. Unfortunately, those people are in every single government. Um, but for the most part, they've been saying, we don't want to go to war, but if you keep pushing, we're going to fucking fight. So then we speed forward to what's happened in the last seven days. Uh, and that's Iraq. Iraq said last year, I believe, maybe the year before... They are tired of America being in their country. And remember, all these Brexiteer, mm -hmm, Brexiteers screaming about how important sovereignty is. Iraq is a sovereign country. If they don't want you in their country, get the fuck out. Uh, but the, the US pretty much ignored that. There were uh, ongoing negotiations and trying to smooth over some bad blood. But essentially, they've been told over and over again, we don't want you here, especially in this force. And the American embassy that got attacked in Iraq is not a small building. It's not a, a small building with uh, a few dozen people. It's a few hundred people operating out of this building. And the Iraqis did not like it. So there was a protest. There was, uh, as far as we know, uh, there was a riot. We don't know what caused it. We don't know who started it. It could have been, it could have been either side, to be honest. We know these tricks are not 
below America's punching line. Um, but it could have been Iraq because, again, they don't want America there. Because of this, because of these protests, Donald Trump, again, being the pathetic little baby that he is, didn't think, OK, we need proportionate response. And I fully understand you can't just let something like this happen. There has to be proportionate response. But Donald Trump being the little baby, the moron, the pathetic little man child decided he was just going to murder people instead. And one of those people who got caught up in the crossfire and was killed was a high ranking general of Iran. America, the Trump administration, has just killed a senior military figure of Iran. That is an act of war. Iran is not going to take this line down. They're not going to sit back and say, OK, well, you know what? Shit happens. Because of the years building up to this. And because there are people in the, the Iranian government who do want to start a war. There's not many, but there are now. There's going to be even more. So there will be a response to this. And whatever that response is... Trump will react in the same way. He will kill people. He won't do it himself because he's a fucking coward. But he will send drones, he will send bombs, he will send other people with guns. And more Iranians will die. So that's important to keep in mind. Because we are already having... Um, politicians like Michael Fabricant... Conservative in the UK. Now look, Michael is a Brexiteer and I, I do intend of doing a video on him in a bit. Um, he's got a mixed record when it comes to, uh, to voting. Some, some of it's good, some of it's bad. Um, but he was a massive cheerleader for the Iraqi war. And now he's attacked Corbyn um, because again, Corbyn is a pacifist. Uh, saying a measured response is needed. We need cooler heads to prevail in this. And Michael's coming out with the, the same old trop of, fuck him, let's just kill him. More or less what he said during the Iraq war. Remember, George Bush used the excuse of 9-11 to invade Iraq. Iraq had nothing to do with September 11th. That was Saudi Arabia. Tony Blair used the excuse of WMDs. There were no WMDs at all. No one said there were WMDs, even our own intelligence. We now know we're saying there are no WMDs. But still, Michael Fabricant was one of the cheerleaders of that. Just as a bit of context, in the Iraqi war, uh, direct or indirect deaths, there were 460,000 deaths. That was, uh, again, either direct or indirect. 460,000 people died in Iraq. Iran is about four, maybe five times bigger than Iraq. It is a solid country with a legitimate army. With missiles that can hit the UK. With missiles that can hit our allies. With resources to wage a bloodbath outside of the Middle East. And yet, Michael Fabricant, absolutely Boris Johnson will jump on this, will drag us into a war because America is run by a little baby. Remember that when media starts spinning it as them evil Middle Easterns. Despite the fact that this all started because Donald Trump couldn't tolerate that Obama had done something truly amazing.